Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kristen Victoria here. Um, just really kind of got ready for work. But I wanted to drop a video that's supposed to drop over a month ago on my lip gloss collection. How I got started. What kind of glosses I got. I was kind of supposed to keep y'all updated on the lip gloss as I was doing it. But things got a little too hectic, expected and unexpected. So I didn't get around to it. But what I will be doing... It's showing y'all my lip glosses, giving you the details on where I got my stuff from, what types of glosses I was going for, uh, where I got my labels from. Uh, if you haven't already, though, go ahead and like, subscribe um, this video. If you do that always. Basically, let's just start with me saying the lip gloss collection it took me a while to drop it really did it took me a while i don't know because at that time i was working a full-time job i just recently started a part-time job so i actually i'm gonna have more time now to youtube lash and other things so um basically i got all my products as far as the glitters i use the base that i use the oils that i put in it i got all of these items off of tkb trading um, I got my containers that I use, the tubes that I use from Amazon. I got the supplies behind it, making the, um, the actual lip glosses, also from TKB. Um, like the pipettes, the syringes, the gloves, things like that. Well, not the gloves. I think I bought the gloves from a store. But the things like that I mentioned before, those are the things that I got from TKB as well. Um, as far as my labels, I DIY the label um, look, so I didn't hire anybody to make me a custom label, which is something that I should have done and I will be doing furthermore, but I decided to DIY it to see if I could make something, because I really didn't know how the glosses would sell, I didn't know if I wanted to pursue the glosses truly at that point. So I was like, I'm not going to spend money on somebody making me a gloss label, I'm going to just make the label and have somebody print it for me. And, you know, I should have tried to do that too, but I didn't. So I got the labels printed from a, a person on Etsy. Uh, I designed again the label. I think I used like fo photo, something. Pixar, all that shit. I mean, all that stuff. <laughs> um, again, not happy with the labels, but they're labels. They work. They promote the name of the brand. And big tip, you want to include your ingredients on everything. Um, people want to know what's, what's in the products that they're using. They want to know what you're putting into them. They want to know. People are very particular about things. Some people don't want to use certain products. So you got to give them that much respect to put it on the label. I just feel like now, furthermore, the next label I make, it's going to have it on there. The next label I get, it's going to have it. It's a mandatory thing. Anyway, let's just hop right in. I'm just going to show y'all the glosses and I'll talk as I go because I do a lot of talking. Um, this first one is Pink Melon. Also have Berry. I wanted to mention because I just saw my nails. Don't look at them. Just like look around them. I've been trying to get these nails off. That's all I'm saying. You know how that go. Anyway, also I have Orange Slice. Can y'all see that? I love this one. Actually, I'm wearing that one right now. <laughs> also, we have Wild Cherry or something like that. Yeah, it's like Wild Cherry. I don't think that's on the site. I'm not sure. I have to check. I don't think so, though. I think I didn't because I didn't really perfect it like I wanted to. This next one is White Pomegranate. It is a sheer gloss that has a tinted color and the hinted color. And this one is pomegranate. It's like a purplish. So I decided to call it like White Pomegranate. The next one is Pink Sugar. I love this one. Um, yeah, Pink Sugar. It's nice. Really love that. Now when I think of that one, I think of my mom because when I first dropped it, she was like, bring me one, bring me one, bring me one. She's funny though. 
Uh, anyway, the next one is White Lime. This one is also like white pomegranate. It's a sheer color, but it has a tinted, hinted color, and the hinted color is green. White Lime. I like that one. And then I think the other one that I have is this one. Oh, yeah, I have one more, I think, of these. This one is Cotton Candy Pink. I love this one. It's like a clear sheer gloss, but it has a tinted pink with glitter. It's really nice for every day, every day. All these are like every days, but those are really like every day. Like, baby, that's like CarMax. And I love CarMax. Mm -hmm. Love CarMax. And that's like CarMax. Like, that's like my CarMax now. I don't know when I bought CarMax last. And I'm like one of those people that used to buy CarMax every other day because I lose them. Like my form is coconut. This is the last one that I have in tube form right now. Um, coconut is really nice. I love it. Nice. I haven't done like a big restock on them because I, last time I sold out or I had like a really big sale on them was like in a local pickup thing I had going on. Like I had an event that I did. Um, first event actually. It was so amazing. I really enjoyed it. Shout out to them. Um, the Mommy and Me brunch. It was so nice. Really enjoyed it. Um, first event for Ice Girl Lashes. And I featured my lip glosses. So it was a really good event. I was really proud of myself. I see more of those types of events in the future or events in general for Icy Girl Lashes. Like, it was a really big move for me. Like, really big. Even to be really small like I am still. Not a big company at all. Not even a big business. I, this is all me. And it's been amazing. I have had some down moments. I can't lie to y'all. Like, I had a lot of down moments, actually, where I just felt like I don't know why I'm doing this. It's not giving me what I should. I felt like nobody sees me. <sighs> it makes me emotional. But... I feel like I got success on the horizon and I'm I'm moving forward with that. So with that being said, before I get all teary at and stuff like I usually let's look at the tube glosses I got. Again, the tubes I got from Amazon. Um, it was like a first time tryout thing. Everything I get from Amazon usually comes out perfect like I thought it would. So I mean a, there was a little few reviews on these black tubes that I got that was saying that they were cheap. They were bad quality, but honestly, my batch of them wasn't. It was a good quality. I, I bought it. I liked it. It was nice. It works for me. I might get them again. I'm, I'm going to invest in different tubes, though, because I feel like if you get a fancy tube, you get a nice tube, people want to buy it. Nice look, nice tube, nice lip gloss. You're going to want it. That's how the other companies get you. So that's, like, what I'm going to invest in furthermore, not maybe the basic tubes. I'm going to try to do something more... Lit. That was an ugly dance, y'all. <laughs> I do that kind of stuff a lot. Sorry. Anyway, um, so basically I'm not going to go through each of these because they're about the same. I'm just going to give you like a look at all the ones I kind of like showed y'all just now. In tube form. Ooh, that, that was a cute combo. I wasn't even doing that on purpose, y'all. I just got that together. Oh, that was, that's a really good combo. Oh wow. Oh wow. That was cute. Proud of myself for that. Huh. I did that. That was cute. Alright, look, you're doing too much. Just say it. Tell me. Cause I know I be doing too much sometimes. Ooh, this is cute too. I did that though. I made that one on purpose like that. That pickup was on purpose. Anyway, but yeah, y'all saw these three. I mean, y'all saw these six already in the in the in the glass. But these two, you did not see. And I'm thinking about make. Oh, in this pink one, y'all didn't see that one. I mean, you did anyway. see. These are two other ones that you guys didn't see in the glass tubes. I just made them in push tubes. These two. Um, this first one is peaches. Peaches is a golden color. It has shimmer and it's a pigmented gloss. So it goes on literally like that. But it looks so good. If you did like a highlight, a gold, like a gold highlight look for the day naturally, and you put this joint on, top coat popping. Anyway, 
This other one is red grape. Literally nice. Like, love the way it goes on my skin. It looks so good. Like, to be, like, not even fully. And, and I'm, I'm telling you, it's not like a lipstick. It's like a tinted, a tinted gloss. Like, literally. it's cute. I really love it. Anyway, those are the few lip gloss colors that I've made so far. I'm going to do some videos on here of me make it, actually like making the lip gloss um, for you guys. Like, so some, I know some people are like really looking into making a lip gloss business. I say do it. Honestly, I say if you do, if you have a dream on something or you see something and you feel like you can do it, do it. Because I always tell people it doesn't matter if two other other 200 other people are doing it. There's 5,000 other people who want some. And they're not going to want to shop with people, some people they don't want to shop with. There's some people that they don't prefer to shop with and there's some people that they do prefer to shop with. And that goes based off products, that goes based off ingredients, that goes based off personality, that goes based off a lot of things. So if you see 200 other people are doing something that you want to do, just remember there's 5,000 other people out there that can shop with you. So don't, don't discourage yourself, just do it. So I say do it and then nobody knock my hustle nobody knock my dreams nobody knock me down from my podium if i want to be up i'm gonna be up if i want to be down be down by myself be down in myself because i do that enough you know i need you down in me too that was just a little feeling how i feel about that kind of stuff but as far as like me doing the more further videos like i said i will be doing some videos showing you how i mix up the formula that i do for my lip glosses I'm also working on a lip scrub, so you can see that soon, or you can expect that soon. Um, I'm just trying to get a formula that I prefer, so I've been just testing it on me. And I don't do it every day, so it takes some time, because I can only do it like twice a week, I prefer. But Anyway, if you do got something that you want to see in a further video, or you got something you want me to talk about, you got something you want me to speak on, you got something you want me to show, DIY, lip gloss, Comment in the comment section and I got you.